Welcome to Sinrock. We've done, we, we did some, we did a review way back when on these holds and um, actually more on these holds, the original ones we got and we gave them, I, I think the term is a fairly good kicking and there was a lot of controversy. Jim's holds, Jim Bowers, the guy who actually runs um, Sinrock and Petrogrips, the original holds we had were just flat blady blue, um, always the same Sinrock top but the polymer was always like baby blue or see-through and we didn't like him because you can see the nails that he uses to reinforce inside. Jim's got a glitter kit, which is cool. The holds look much nicer than they used to. These holds always take a bolt. Jim always puts lots of screw holes so you can actually stop these things from rotating because this will, you know, let's face it, you get on this side, this is going to rotate. So you've got, always got an inset screw hole, which is really nice. You have the sim rock material which is very, very rock-like and can be sanded to whichever way you want. Um, this part of the hold shouldn't break at all. And apparently you can use it as a, as a pry bar. Great big double handle. Like the first set we had were like this, the super tiny, thin, really horrible to hold on to. But this, oh my God, like, you know, it's got a fairly sharp angle on it, but it's really quite nice. You know, there are a few manufacturing defaults, um, defaults, Defects, sorry, there's a few manufacturing defects here where they've been chipped, you know, but you know, there's no pieces of plastic in the box that it came in. So I'm guessing that when Jim's actually made these, they've actually come out and they're a little bit, you know, a little bit chipped and a little bit deformed. But you know, such life, Jim, Jim's an artist, so you know, we, 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 you know, we roll with it, you know, it's a, it's a slight, it's a shame that this bit here isn't actually flush with the back of the hole, you know, that's life for you, that's the way it goes. Number two, again. Great big edge. The bolt hold is actually off center, which is a shame. But he's put five holes to comp uh, five screw holes to compensate for it. The bolt should really be here in a perfect world, and there should be two holes, two holes in the back. Um, great big slight dink in the front. Great big one pad double hander. You know this one's um, glittery blue. Um, the glitter's a little bit you know uneven. You know, but there's actually, you know, quite nice, you know, you know, pretty cool. Big purple monster. Um, again, you know, the back's chipped and it's got like, some bubbles, bubbles in his, in his polymer. But this, but the sing rock part where it's been glued in, there's, you know, some glue chunks there. You know, nice big, you know, I, I would have possibly lost this part of the hold, but nice big, you know, like, Double-handed grab, it's super nice. Golden blue this time, kind of nice. He's uh, actually indented his um, his rock with um, I don't know what he's done. Looks like the end of a ballpoint pen or something. Again, like, but good t good texture. You know, you're gonna get on this and grab. You've got a nice little. You can like grab on these things and probably use it as a sideboard. It's not not too bad. Um, this one's actually quite nice. I like it. It's going to be fun to hold on to. Again, the bolt hold isn't actually centered, it's slightly off center. And, but the sanding is nice and flat, it's not too bad. <coughs> Let me drop down into this guy. You're looking at one pad, one hand, all the way over. This stuff is actually quite slick, it's almost, you, you could call it dual texture, but it's not, it's just the way Jim makes his holds. Um, it's actually not too bad. It's like pretty slick. You can get your thumb on it. It's gonna be quite hard. It does, you know, slide pretty well. You know, it's not bad. You know, one pad, one hand. This one's in cut. A little bit rippled, like outside. All the way over. One pad, all the way over. A little bit sharp on the old things. If you get on it and hit quite hard, it's gonna hurt your hurt your tendons a little bit. But nothing too bad. Then we move on to the smaller ones that we have. Bit of, bit of gold lame going on here. These are these are about the same size as the ones we had originally that were, you know, just not just hard to hold on to. Even on the vertical wall, they were just hard to hold on to. You look at a half pad, flat edge, um, lots of texture here. The edge of the pod hasn't been finished properly. It hasn't been sanded off. You can actually see where it wants to be, where it's come out of the mold. But there's little, little bits of excess material on there. There's two screw holes on here as well. Um, again, they've not actually been drawn all the way through. Again, looking at a one hand, half pad, gold lama. You can actually see that, you can actually see if you get catch the line, you can actually see the, 
reinforcing nail that's actually underneath this is actually where he's drilled the hole through here. You can actually see the nail actually on the inside of the hole. They get into like this one's golden red. One pad, one hand. Well, actually half pad, one hand. This guy here again, small, nice. The you know the gold works. Gold's actually pretty even on this one, but you're looking at one pad in cut. Not too bad, three screw holes. This guy is actually really quite, really quite nice and well made. Um, bolt hole, three screw holes. If you don't want to, you know, Jim's actually quite good. If you don't want to bolt your holes onto the wall, you can actually screw all of his holes to the wall. Um, really nice um, inset little thing. These, these, these. I, I love these. These are brilliant holes, and I, I love, the, I love the concept of these. Again, like almost dual texture. You know, really quite nice. You know. One pad edges, little slopes. The, you know, this is actually gonna be a whole bunch of real good fun to play with. Sandings, sandings are a little bit off, but nothing too bad. This guy is is actually pretty heavy. With gold, golden red, and there's this great big slot, a great big double-handed slot. You know, this just about big enough for your fingers. It's going to be an amazing, amazing side pull to play around with, like double grab, move around. Um, where this, where this the single rock's actually been glued in, it's actually not, doesn't fit quite perfectly, which is a shame, but it's actually, actually really quite nice. Again, a whole bunch of screw holes on this guy, and then Jim's um, hollow back tip. Um, probably with a chisel. Um, it's not the best hollow back in the world, that's for sure. Um, I've seen, I've seen better hollow backs. I haven't seen worse hollow backs yet. Um, but you know, he's tried to hollow the back out of this to make it light. It's actually real, still really quite heavy, but you know, this you know, you can tell the base of it is actually quite light, but the the hold part of it is actually really quite heavy. But you're looking at a really great big edge. You know, there's chips and dinks on this, you know, this is probably the hold we're going to use for the drop test because, you know, it's the biggest one, it's the heaviest one, that I want to see what happens. Again, where it's come out the mould, it hasn't been finished, hasn't been sanded properly. But the sanding, well it hasn't been sanded, it, it looks like it's been sanded on the back, but not on the sides, which is kind of strange. Yeah, it needs a little bit more sanding to it, but, you know. So this is the hold I'm actually, um, well, this is the hole I'm actually the most surprised by. It's not on their website, I've not seen it. It's actually about the size of my thigh. Lengthwise, not girthwise. And it's a great big slope. It's awesome. I, I love the look of this thing. Again, it's a little bit heavy and Jim's, Jim's done some hollow backing here. Um, it looks like where he's actually drilled out the screw holes or in this case, not drilled up the screw hole um, that is chipped off the back, and there's a slight defect here, you know, where it's been chipped. You know, these these guys are chipped around the outside. In fact, yeah, like I can pull bits of I can actually pull bits of the inside of this one off. But this guy is, to be honest, I could probably, I'd like to think I can hold on to it with just the slick bit. Shame the colour's not as even as it should be, but this guy is just monstrous. You know, pretty heavy. You do some forearm curls with it. It's a really, really great hold. I love. To, I'd love to see these in different sizes and different depths. Just this shape, just smaller, thinner, and just with this texture. This texture here, you know, although it's it's the same material, the texture here is really nice. It's like a fine grain sandpaper. It's got a really good grip. It's got a really good grip to it. You know. It's, there's a couple of minor flaws with it, but I love the concept, I think it's great. The sanding is absolutely rubbish. Um, this has not been near a belt sander in any way, shape or form. It hasn't been sanded, you know, it's just come out of the mould and that's what you get. But that's what you get with sink rock, you know. What you see generally is what you get. We'll put them on the wall, we'll see how they climb. I think most of them are actually going to climb quite superbly um, and we'll get back to you.